What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. So apparently the trailer for the Dear Evan Hansen movie like literally just dropped. I had no idea. Like that's so awesome. So that is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, I know very little about this. Uh, I know Ben Platt is reprising his role as Evan Hansen. I don't know if anybody else is. Uh, I, I'm hoping, in my heart of hearts, I'm hoping that Will Rowland is back for the character Jared. I just loved Jared so much, and he did such a great job with that character, and, you know, brought that much, much needed levity to the show, Dear Evan Hansen. Uh, but actually, this show has got a little bit of a history with this channel. This is actually the second Behind the Curve. Uh, Behind the Curve number one was deleted by YouTube, unfortunately, because we decided that uh, it would be a good idea to react to the bootleg of Dear Evan Hansen, which it wasn't. YouTube took exception to that and completely deleted the channel. Uh, so yeah, a little behind the curve history there for you. Um, but yeah, I am pretty excited. Like, it's not a pro shoot, it's a movie, so... I, I'm a little cautiously optimistic, but it's Ben Platt in the role that he was born to play. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy the content, definitely consider subscribing down below. But let's go ahead and get into it. Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be an amazing day, and here's, here's why. Got it. I, somehow I forgot just how sad of a Have you of a been doing those letters to yourself with Dr. Sherman? I've been trying to. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Um, no one signed your cast. Now we can both pretend we have friends. I'm sorry about my brother. Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? I wish everything was different. I wish I was part of something. I wish that anything I said mattered. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. I'll, I'll, I'll just take it. Wait, I really, I need that back. If you could fall and no one would hear. Connor took a letter from me and it was an assignment from my therapist. Still. Even when the dark comes crashing through. Connor's mother and stepfather here to see you. When you need a friend to carry you. Connor wanted you to have this. And when you're broken all the <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen, he wrote it to you. His last words. Connor took his own life. He won. I'm sorry Connor didn't write this. No, no, no. Please. It says you will be found. And we didn't think Connor had any friends. Now, are you really gonna tell these people that the only thing they have left of their son is a letter that you wrote to yourself? So, you and Connor, tell us something, please. Right, um, I started talking and you couldn't stop. They didn't want me to stop. I'm putting together a memorial service. If you wanted to do something. Connor showed me that, that I wasn't alone. Nobody is. So, let that lonely feeling wash away. What he did? Oh, okay, all right. I'm not. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know that you were hurting. When you don't feel strong enough to stand. A lot of people feel like us. You can reach, reach out your head. People started sharing it. It's everywhere. I don't understand what happened. You're dead. You don't know how much you've given my family and to me. Were you ever actually friends with him? I never meant to make it such a mess. I was trying to help. If you knew who I am, just how broken I am. I already know you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! That was too sad. I, oh man, I don't know how. Like, I feel like that trailer really leaned into Evan, like being the victim. Um, which to a certain extent he is, but at least the way I took the show itself, he, he, he brought a lot of that on himself with 
ample opportunity to kind of come clean. Um, but oh, so, God, God, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to hurt again. Like I, I, I really don't. Like Dear Evan Hansen is probably like my favorite musical that I've seen that I never listened to. Like other musicals that I love, I listen to the soundtrack all over the time. Literally, the only song from Dear Evan Hansen that I listen to on the regular is uh, uh, Sincerely Me because it's a fun song. It's really upbeat and it makes me laugh and it makes me forget just how dark and sad and just conflicting the entire story is. I don't know if I'm ready to hurt again. But I am definitely going to see this movie when it comes out. All right, so it appears that Ben is the only person from the original Broadway cast, at least of the kids. Um, I, I could be wrong. If I am, definitely someone let me know. Um, which I guess makes sense. You know, it has been how long since Dear Evan Hansen was on Broadway, so those people have kind of aged out of the role. And honestly, so kind of has Ben. Ben isn't quite able to pull off that high school kid anymore but does it matter no absolutely not like this is without a doubt the role ben was born to play and i, I don't think you could have recast evan hansen as anybody else uh i would have really liked to have seen will Rowland, but that's fine maybe he was busy or they just didn't offer the role to him uh but i think the only actor that i don't know if i was super high on is connor connor i just i had a different look in my mind um for what i i just was thinking um but it is an incredibly small sample size like we heard him say like four lines i mean i know he's not in it a lot but jury's still kind of out on that but everybody else like i thought that the casting decisions so far so good uh the addition of amy adams very cool i'm excited to see what she does uh with that really really sad really emotional role uh, i'm assuming she's gonna crush it and i would like to say that i'm excited for this movie but i just don't know if i'm able to because like when i watched the the that bootleg it the quality was not great not great at all i couldn't really hear like half of the lyrics uh, i mean i still definitely got you know the show but even with all of those terrible things about that recording i was still emotionally just devastated by the end of this so being a movie how you are absolutely like encompassed in that world uh you're not missing anything like even though i know the ending and i i know where it goes uh, I know the emotional roller coaster. I have a feeling that this is going to absolutely wreck me uh, in the theater, and I am not excited about that. Like, there are certain movies where when you watch a trailer, you can just be like, yup, that's gonna be sad. I am gonna cry. And even if I had not seen the, uh, the musical, the Broadway show, I think I would still have that in my mind. Like, fuck, this is gonna be such a sad movie. Ugh. I don't even know what to think. And the way that they set up the trailer too was really cool. All they just had uh, You Will Be Found playing underneath all of the little clips, you know, going through it. Uh, they really just barely touched on the fact that Evan like wasn't actually friends with Connor, like just, just a little bit. I don't know if they don't want to tip their hand when it comes to like audiences out there. I don't know if they're gonna downplay that. Like I, I have no idea. I don't know how regular movie going audiences are going to deal with such a such an emotional train wreck of a show they might switch a few things around uh i really hope not because the source material is so damn good but i think it said it comes out in uh, this fall or something like that so we'll find out here pretty soon i'll probably have to do like a movie review after i go see it probably as i'm still openly weeping because Ben Platt and Evan Hansen just does that to me. Um, but no, definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments, what you're most excited about, what you're most apprehensive about. Otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction incredibly soon.